we will have in this country the ability for the people to vote directly directly on major issues instead of voting only for politicians we will have it precisely because that's the nature of things the new environment will create it how does the new system work mind you these are just suggestions they're just guidelines you can work out your own come up with better guidelines the tele-democratic infrastructure consists of computerized administration temporary referendum committees instant electronic referendums Each month, computers select all the members. Members are picked at random to maximum represent all elements in the community or state. Women, men, youngsters, under 16, people over 80, professionals, non-professionals, scientists, idealists, musicians, entertainers, etc. They do not compete or struggle for membership. They serve on referendum committees no longer than one month. Those selected are required to serve as in jury duty today. It ought to be an obligation for individuals working within this new, truly democratic system to participate at least for one month on these ad hoc committees. The duties of the temporary referendum committee are roughly as follows. Supervise the instant referendums, help draft issues to put to voters, supervise implementation of referendum decisions, help computers test out referendum decisions. This is something we didn't have in the past. We now have the capacity to test out through computer modeling, through computer simulation, whether in fact the plan is feasible. Sometimes the majority does not know what is best. Instant electronic referendums. We already have referendums. What I'm suggesting is we need more and more of them so that we can vote directly on issues, not vote for individuals. Every member of the community over the age of, say, 10 or 12 has a direct telephone or terminal tie-in with the referendum center. The referendum center submits a list of issues to all the people. Presentations are telecast several times a day for several days on a special referendum channel. All sides of every issue are aired. Computer projections of probable consequences of each option are also aired. Because there are no struggles for leadership and power, issues are relatively free of personal conflicts, ambitions, narrow self-interest. The focus is on the merit of different plans, not what is good for my election or my stay in office or my party or my ideology. Every month on referendum day, people deploy their terminals, telephones or other interlets to register their votes on the issues before them. Each individual has an identification which referendum center instantly verifies to make sure no one votes more than once. People can televote from anywhere, your home, your work, beach, earth orbit, anywhere. A community, regional or global referendum can technically be carried out within one hour. These are details that have to be worked out. Everyone is required to vote or register some response to the issues. Those who fail to call in are automatically contacted by referendum center and asked for their input. In emergencies, referendums are held right away, even within one day's notice. Referendum results must be put to computer modeling. The readout may contradict majority decisions and support minority views, or the computer readout may find specific faults with the decision. The referendum committee may then debug the flaws and offer modified plans to the people the following month or right away. Here, in all fairness, I think the computers can help us make decisions where, in fact, highly technical information is needed, where modeling or simulation can help. However, Computers do not have the capacity for vision or for ideals or for dreams or for even fine-tuning of values and so on. Your input is very necessary. This is direct universal democracy.